Right, today it's its overall transition summit, and we're doing these summits uh, across the entire United States at, at multiple military installations, and it's all designed about education uh, of the service members and commanders on the transition process and the, and the uh, opportunities that are available for them. And then day two is more of an education for the service members who are transitioning, uh, the resources that are available to them, and then the opportunity for them to meet with employers and, and, and get hired into their next career, next profession. Some of the things that they were covering was uh, not just the Veterans Administration side, uh, but the educational side, whether it be you know, post 9-11 GI Bill, um, or even using a standardized, your, your standard GI Bill, um, you know, what is covered, how to process, you know, what schools um, require, you know, a, additional documentation, whether it be, you know, from a high school transcript to a college transcript to um, uh, even uh, additional credentialing, you know, cert certificate type training. Um, so yeah, it was very uh, informative on, on those levels. The real critical part of this is, is the education component of it all. Uh, because a lot of folks do giant hiring fairs and job fairs and that type of stuff, but it's more important to get the service members prepared uh, through the transition service manager on the basis, but also through those additional education opportunities to really get them mentally prepared uh, for what the process is for transition. So whether it be the VA benefits, whether it be Department of Labor, or whether it be the simple education things on how to do an interview, or how to do your 30-second elevator pitch, all those sort of soft skills that are necessary to really find employment and have success in the outside world. Well, I came to this uh, transition summit uh, to get to know uh, companies in the community. And uh, I'm not from this area originally, so I don't know what companies are out there to uh, work for after I transitioned from the military. I've learned that there's a lot more avenues, uh, career opportunities than I previously anticipated. And uh, it's a little bit overwhelming, uh, but it's good to get out here and network with uh, these employees from these different companies. The good news is that the military is, is uh, putting an exerted effort on quick transition processes to make sure they're still getting the required education as part of the VALAC law uh, to prepare them. But also, these what's, what's what Hiring Our Heroes is here for, is to make sure that we can help bridge the gap between what the mandatory requirements are and the DOD is providing and those service members that may need the additional assistance uh, to prepare them for transition. So our WTP or WPT unit folks have unique, unique challenges that they're dealing with when it comes to transition, uh, but the good news is there's lots of services, including Hiring Our Heroes, that's there to support them and help them in those efforts. Going into the transition summit, uh, I was really anticipating uh, uh, networking with some other uh, entities within the, the federal government. Um, I've been to multiple job fairs, you know, prior to. Um, I'm very good with uh, the networking process. Uh, I, I served as a recruiter as well, so dealing with uh, corporations, companies uh, was not really an issue for me. Um, some of the things that I really wanted to ensure that I got out of it was you know, some of the programs afforded to us, you know, as that transitioning soldier uh, to ensure I took full advantage of. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Hiring Our Heroes is a national organization, so it's not just the events that we're running, but the education component. And we're a great resource for service members to come back to to say, hey, I need some additional assistance with my resume or my additional assistance in my personal branding on how to do my 30-second elevator pitch. So we're for, there for them for the, for the long haul to assist them in their transition. But it's not just Hiring Our Heroes. There's a lot of great organizations out there uh, that are also doing in that same space to support them. And I think that's really the great news right now for, for our nation and for our service members uh, that their country cares and companies care and, and want to make them great employees in their companies like they were great service members uh, serving their nation. So it's, it's a great time uh, to be a service member and it's a great time to be a service member if you happen to be transitioned.